everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are back on the Normandy and I guess before I start the next main mission I should probably talk to my companions again because um, stuff has happened since last time. Like, you know, Cerberus trying to take over the Citadel. So let's make sure we catch up with everyone. Cerberus is going to have a hard time recruiting now. <laughs> well, I, I would hope so. I would hope so. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? <laughs> Something about leather seats. Yes. I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. Okay. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. Mm. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. <laughs> Don't shoot the commander. Come on, be nice. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior <laughs> officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. Well, to be fair, I showed up there in the middle of a Cerberus invasion. And, come to think of it, I had Edie with me, the robot that basically smashed his, his head in a few weeks earlier. So that didn't really look good on me, did it? So I, I, can, I can understand that he was a little bit suspicious there. Um, also, Joker... I hate to break it to you, but Cerberus has always been evil. They have never been anything else. Just because they had leather seats didn't didn't make them, you know, nice. Commander. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's talk to Edie as well. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior oh. force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher mobs. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. <laughs> You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> that, that is a very tough question to ask so casually. Whatever it wants it to be, the job it was designed for. I mean, I don't know, if it has like free will and can make, you know, decisions, then I guess it should be allowed to make those decisions? I don't know, it's it's a tough question, but I mean, uh, if it's life, then I guess it doesn't matter if it's synthetic or organic, right? It's not that different from organic life. <laughs> a free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. Right. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Ooh. Reapers. Well, I, I wouldn't limit organic life to reproduction. Um, that is a very uh, old-fashioned view. So yeah, there's more to organics. Reproduction isn't all there is. Exactly. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty. Altruism. Love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? <laughs> Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Well, those are some good goals, so I'm, I'm not objecting to that. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly <laughs> <Yes>. pleasant. <laughs> I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. <laughs> All right, so so you two are good. I I, I think that's that's a good thing. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. All right, so um, we're done with these guys. Let me 
get to the lower decks and talk to my people over there. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on Fidcom. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to talk to him too, sooner or later. Right, um... Oh, hey, Gareth, what are you doing here? Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Hmm. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Um, I don't think so. But, I mean, it was never really uh, an issue because he, he basically put down his gun away right away. So, uh, I don't think it crossed her mind. <laughs> I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. <laughs> Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Indeed. And yeah, look at that. Thane is on the memorial wall as well now. And I'm going to assume that, yeah, Morden, Morden as well. Oh dear, oh dear, it's growing. And there, there are still so many empty spaces. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> okay, okay. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Right, where where is he anyway? I guess I can talk to him too. Okay, he's in the starboard observation. Nice. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Well this is right over here, isn't it? Nope, this is this is the wrong side. <laughs> it's over here. Oh, so you claim the, the room with a huge window. Well, good choice. Good choice. All oh, seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? <laughs> sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. He's presumed. So, what happened? Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. That's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In... All this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for that. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. And empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. <laughs> Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well. Wherever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or... Somewhere. You know... When this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion <laughs> party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Well, you're planning far ahead. I hope I hope we get to see that. I hope we Thanks do. for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> also, that was a very nice shot, you know, just against the backdrop of, of the starfield. And, oh, reef unlocked. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it's tempting, it's tempting to take one of those biotic bonus powers, but I think um, I will stick to the non-biotic ones for roleplay reasons. Alright, um, speaking of which, maybe I should talk to you again. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. <laughs> hey, 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 be careful about what you say. <laughs> Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. 
And leaving Earth in a hurry is a little bit of an understatement, though. <laughs> Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Yep, yeah, you're right about that. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to get back out there. Well, I guess I can take you on my next mission. After all, um, you're back in my team now, right? Anyway, um, let's continue and talk to my other people. May oh, I hey. speak with you, Commander? Of course. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest <clears throat> you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. Hm. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Uh, why me? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. <laughs> you could persuade them. Well, sure, I will try. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Okay. That sounds like a worthy goal. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. I will, I will. So, yeah, huh. Well, at some point, I guess I would have to pick one of those. Because otherwise they would just go in vain, right? But, um, I will, I will try to make up my mind sooner or later. Anyway, let's go and talk to Liara. She's over here. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. <laughs> and it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Alright. Good to see you again, Shepard. Well, you don't have much to say. Good to see you again, Shepard. So let me read your stuff. Audio recording from Councillor Gugia's Senate, Senate office. Secretary Phillips, the emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left a about an hour ago. They said they, s they said it's too much of a risk to come back. What? <laughs> Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This, this is a pass key, sir, and an inventory. Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the city senate to seize any and all ESO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles, senate member stockpiles. I am foregoing re-election, now get us these ships. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Interesting. I have uh, no upgrades to wait for me. A pleasure okay, to see um... You. In that case, let's continue on the lower decks. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance <laughs> Marines explain the Council fleet's delayed response. <laughs> we speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight. In the battle space. Hm. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Right. A few people wanted to talk to me in my cabin. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do this right away, but maybe I wait until the next mission. Commander. Nothing to report. Shepard. All right. Nothing here. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. <laughs> in our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh <laughs> wow. or starve. 
Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is okay. only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others will be tolerated. <laughs> I see. I see. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime. When it is not infested with traitors. Well, what's stopping you? My other crew members are on the Citadel all the time. I have heard about the Kai Leng human you encountered. <clears throat> it is good to have a name for the enemy. I would enjoy <laughs> killing most. Ah, uh, Javik. Yes? Um, I, I leave you be. <laughs> and finally, let's go talk to my boys in the shuttle bay. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. Hmm. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Indeed. Is everything okay, Shepard? First human counselor and then he pulls off a stunt like that. That's going to win the hearts and minds of people. <laughs> hey, Commander. I knew okay. Udina was a dirty bastard. Oh. But I never would have guessed he was that rotten. Huh. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to <laughs> politicians. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey. Okay, so, um, I'm done after all. But, um, apparently Anderson wanted to talk to me as well, so... Uh, let's go to the VidCom room. Shepard, hmm. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Well, that's good to hear. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, <laughs> that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. <clears throat> Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers <laughs> have arrived in huge numbers. Alright, makes it easier to kill them. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And it's enough. All right, all right. So, a little chat with Anderson. Um, yeah, I have some missions that are actually missions. I think... Those two, Masana and Are. So maybe I'm actually going to start one of those and um, all those people that want to talk to me in my cabin can hopefully wait until after that. Because we have done a lot of talking today, so let's do a little bit of real action. Commander Shepard. <laughs> um, I don't know which of these two missions I should prioritize. Um, Asari High Command has requested help dealing with a distress signal on an Asari colony. Go to the colony and investigate the situation. A group of top level scientists have cut ties with Cerberus and are fleeing their former employee. Rescue the scientists before Cerberus can find them. Well, they're both sort of distress signals, so I don't really know if anyone, uh, if any of those should be done first. Let's start with the Asari one, I guess. Um, 
I need to find this place. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of, of new places to scan to, which I will do off camera as, as usual. But yeah, let's go to the Nimbus Cluster and investigate the Asara Colony. Alright, it's not in this system, but way over here. Okay, what do we got here? Lessus is an unpopular garden world with char characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of the, its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high, its diseases a little too virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lessus. Normally, a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lessus's night side. Huh. All right. Let's land on it. <coughs> and yeah, look at that. Caden is in my party again. Huh. I guess I'm going to bring him along. And well, since it's a a sorry thing, maybe Liara should come. There we go. All right. Um, I should probably do something about your weapons. I still haven't upgraded the hurricane. I need to remember to do that. Um, what about your weapons? Hmm. I guess you can take. This one for now. And the eagle. And I kinda want to mod it too. Piercing mod is okay. And that's fine as well. Mm, another piercing mod. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's let's take this. And oh yeah, I can I can level you up. Okay, let's let's do this quickly. Um Let's go for health and shields. Uh, who? Biotic power, tech power. Uh, let's go for the biotic damage. Recharge speed of squad mate shields. Increase squad mate tech and biotic power damage by 10%. Um, I'll take the shields. And I want reef upgraded as well. Oh yeah, I'm totally going for the recharge speed. Increase effectiveness against armor and barriers by 75%. Increase, da increase damage by 30%, increase duration by 30%, increase damage protection pulse. Ooh, wow. Um, I'll take the general damage increase. Go. And... Yeah, sure, let's... Um, level up the overload as well. And I guess I'm going to actually level up your singularity now. All right. And off we go. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did. And I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Hm. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. 
But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with <clears> them, <throat> yes. Uh, is that really necessary? Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free. And why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Um, okay, I understand, but let's only use the bombs as a last resort. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Alright. Here we are. Find the Sari Commandos. Um, yeah, I need to get my skill bar in order. We have an overload. We have a warp. We have a singularity. And we have Reef. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. There's heat coming off that shuttle. Someone just used it. Oh, okay. Oh, let me have a look at this landscape. <laughs> it's kind of pretty in in, in in its own way. Anyway, let's um see what's going on here. Elevator disabled. Oh. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Huh. Maybe both? And of course it's dark and creepy. Listen. There's a lot more than one. <laughs> more than one what? <coughs> Huh. Oh. Well, something went down here. What was that? Stay sharp. Huh. We have Reaper enemies. And very limited viewing distance. <laughs> I heard something. I, um, tripped. Sorry. <laughs> Be careful, you're making me nervous. <laughs> huh. Galley's electronic signature. Okay, some intel. Hmm. It's really quiet in here though. I don't like this at all. Tale, you won't believe what Yanis managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. <laughs> oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. I don't think uh, they did this. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Is this one of the Asari Commandos? This was the Commandos' captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Hmm. Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nap point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. <laughs> that is very drastic indeed. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. 
All right. Um, great Hall. Let me have a look at this first. Oh, this is actually where we have to go, right? Huh? This looks like it once was a pretty place, you know, when it wasn't dark and creepy. Okay, can I open this door? Very good. I almost <laughs> didn't hear you. Wow. Samara? Well. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something mm -hmm. special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. So, are your children a threat? You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. All right, we'll help search. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. Huh. It has been centuries since I last saw them. <laughs> We're out of time. Okay, and that means we'll what meet exactly? Again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Um, well, this just happened. Now let me have a look around. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. I'm bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and... Tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. <laughs> Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. Want... Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. <gasps> <laughs> this is really sad. But yeah, I guess I'm going to deliver your message if I can. <coughs> anyway, um... This may actually be a good time to save. Yes, I can save here. So ma let's make a cut here and we will continue to investigate this place in the next episode. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.